Moscow will hold on to plausible deniability as long as uh, you, the Europeans and a part of the U.S. administration is willing to play along is, is in the sham game. But what is more important, Russia started to call up quote unquote volunteers, students, um, I'm told, are being called up uh, to uh, military uh, mobilization points and are offered. Uh, and this is one of these offers you cannot refuse to go to Ukraine to fight. Uh, and if they're if they're fighting there as a volunteers, their families may not get their bodies. Their families will not get compensation. They will not get benefits as veterans if they're wounded. So it's a really dirty war, not just on Ukrainians, but on Russian. Well, kids you know, as well. Ariel, your, your sources and apparently all the photos and all the video we see must not be accurate because uh, Sarah. Uh, Putin's foreign policy advisor, Yuri Ushakov, says, there ha quote, there has been no buildup. Oh, yeah. there, there, there is no buildup, is essentially what they're <laughs> Look saying. Look the other way. And, I have, as, a, and as, I have a bridge to sell you in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. I was just, I was going nice to ask bridge. you, Ariel, the same thing. Uh, what about our U.S. intelligence? And this is one of the things that, you know, we saw at the very beginning of this crisis in Ukraine, where there was a lot of U.S. intelligence falter on here, where, where they, were suspect they weren't expecting Russia to push forward. And I'm wondering where we stand now, because the Ukrainians from the beginning, from the beginning, were saying, look, look at us. We are going to get invaded. We know Russia is going to make a move. There were people in the United States saying, ah, no way, Russia is not going to make a move on this. And I wonder now that we've been stretched out so thin across the board, Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, even with the Mexico border. If, if the Russians are just saying, you know what, we don't even care. They didn't care in the beginning. We don't even care now. We're making our move on Ukraine and nobody is going to stop us. Could there be a better time right now for Putin to actually do some kind of incursion to change events? No one's paying attention. Could, could there be a better time? Well, and in fact, it feels like the United States is almost helping his propaganda war. Because the State Department is defining this, at least according to Michael Weiss's piece, is defining this as a failure by Russia to de-escalate the situation. Get that. The scary stuff. Like, Russia's moving in, so this is a failure of Russia to de-escalate the situation, which is akin to saying in Iraq,